Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, well, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, depending on when you get a chance to listen to this. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mimi's Inspirational Spot. My name is Muriel. I'm a Bible-believing follower of Jesus Christ. I truly thank you for being with me this Sunday. I am so very grateful. I wanted to quickly share something with you right before I go to work. Um, I was on my way to, um, to work and then I, you know, I felt the spirit of the Lord say to me, you know, you need to spend time with me. And I'm saying to myself, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lately, I've been, I, I've just been on a high, um, in a sense, I, even though I've been going through a lot in my life lately, but God has been giving me revelation. You ever been going through something and it's like, um, okay, the best way I can describe it is like this, right? You, you've ever lost something and you're trying to find it. And in the midst of trying to find it, you're looking under the couch and then you find something that you lost before. You're like, oh my gosh, I was looking for this the other day. And then you go and you find something else that you've been looking for. I mean, you're finding all these things on your search for what you initially started out to look for but um in the midst of that right in the in the process of you looking for you know that one particular thing you're finding all these other things that you lost this, that's truly how i feel in this moment in time in my life i just feel like while i'm trying to fix a situation in my life right now it's like god is revealing all these things to me and god is showing me all these beautiful things it's like oh i didn't know that i needed to fix this oh, i didn't know that this was this wasn't oh my gosh i didn't know that this is how this is supposed to go so i'm getting all these revelations and all these new inspiration and and all in the process of trying to fix a situation that is important right but in the process of fixing this I, i'm learning all these beautiful new things and so i am so grateful and and all that has come with me spending a lot of time in prayer um um spending time with fellow you know in fellowship with brothers and sisters right and so quickly 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 it's going to lead to what I why I'm sharing this um um time with you guys and and so I I've just really been you know I feel like I've been really spending the time with the right people um you know uh, uh spending sp spending my time wisely and so again as I'm driving and I and I sense the spirit of the Lord saying you know the Lord needs you to spend time with him and I'm like what have I been doing all this time if I'm not spending time with the Lord? And um, my new I, God had inspired me to um, to create a prayer room, a prayer closet, right? And and it's been a while since I've really sat in that room and and meditate. And so um, so so when this I I sense the spirit of the Lord leading me to 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 that idea, I said I said God. I, I've been I've been in fellowship with my brothers and sisters. I've I've been really like truly um following your instructions. I, I I'm, I'm you know preaching the the word. I'm I'm evangelizing. I'm giving um um people the the opportunity to hear of you. And for those who choose, they you know based on what they hear, they will give themselves over and and trust you. And 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 the Lord said yes, but. I need you to spend some alone time with me. And that made me, um, gave me the realization that sometimes we can be doing all these beautiful things. We can be positioning ourselves to be used by God to bless others. We can be positioning ourselves for God to get blessings through us to others, right? And being blessed in the process. And we can be surrounded by brothers and sisters of the faith and and being carried by their prayer and praise and not necessarily be spending time with God ourselves right and what do I mean by that well if you guys for those of you who read the word of God and for those of you who don't I would encourage you to do so right um there's a story in the word of God where Saul who was a king um over the um chosen people of God Israel and and Saul was was troubled in his spirit at a time and when he was troubled he would call on David and when he would call on David he would 
because the spirit of the Lord was on David, David would come and each time David would come and be next to him and play music, Saul would feel light and he would feel encouraged he would feel of the, the spirit of David would then be upon him and and because of that he would I'm sorry my nose is itchy he would um he would he would feel better and he would be encouraged and and so that is what happens to us oftentimes and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing because the word of God says do not abandon the assembling of the church one reason being is that the Lord has called us to help one another, to support one another, to encourage one another. So sometimes you can go to church, you can go to church and feel the, um, discouraged and you're feeling, um, um, down and, and the praises of your brother or your sister next to you just it's something about that it's kind of like an electric shock it shocks you back to life right and so you're there you're like yeah i can do this i can do this and you're praising god and you're praising because the praises of your brother and sister has now carried you right and so that and that is beautiful that is god that is one of the reasons why one of the reasons why god says do not abandon the assembling of the church especially now where everything is mostly online because of all the health scare and all the crisis that's going on so most of us feel safer online but don't don't get too comfortable with that because there that's a double-edged sword right there that that can be a cash 22 so to speak meaning yet in one way it's good because you're ensuring that you don't contract something contagious but in another that is an easy way for you to be discouraged and be and be um um pulled down by the enemy why because you're not around your brothers and sisters to feel that energy to to feel that that sense of push and pull like to to know yeah you can do it you can do it so please if if at all means you can uh, keep health conscious and go and assemble with the church your fellow brothers and sisters do it do it right and um i don't know i that's not the reason why i say it but hey god wants someone to hear that so whoever you are god is saying to you right now do not get too comfortable with online service do not get too comfortable with online service do not abandon the assembling of the church i know what you're saying we could assemble we touch and, and agree in spirit i hear you but at the same time there is something about when everybody are gathered together in body in the upper room right the spirit of the lord falls and and because of that unity because of that coming together please don't abandon it it's going to encourage you that may be exactly what you need at this season in your life to go through what you're going through and come out strong so don't abandon the assembly of the church now back to what i felt that god was saying to me god was um i and and god was that led me to to think of these things where you know sometimes we get so caught up with with the the strength of togetherness that sometimes we don't realize that once you've gotten that strength you have to now take that height and fly on your own there is always you always always have to take a time where you pull away from the crowd sit down and let it be you and God. Let it be you and God, right? Let it be you and God in prayer. And say, Lord, you know, I, I thank you. Yes, I was down and I, I've been encouraged by my brothers and sisters. But now that I'm encouraged, I'm coming to you, God, one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm at mano a mano one-on-one -on -one. and i'm and i'm saying my daughter's learning spanish so she's teaching me a thing or two i hope i said it i you know i said it right and I, i'm coming to you and i'm saying god you know this is my heart and i'm giving you praise and i'm giving you honor because saints you know my god has been so good to us god has been so faithful i don't know about anybody else but god has been so good to me he has been so so very i am learning so much about myself. I just thought this season when my life would have been a season where I'm casting out spirits and all that. And, but it's like, God is, I, I, I'm casting out spirits, all right? Spirits that wanted to attach itself to me. 
that, that wanted to confuse me, that came, excuse me, that came as a, as a disguise, as an angel of light, but really was not. Anger, you know, not trusting God, that was disguised, right? Not trusting in God and fear that was being disguised in prayers of, uh, uh, of casting out um, um, demon. And, and I will explain that sometime in, in, in the next segment. But mainly what this was revelation to me was, and I wanted to share it with you as well, is, you know, in as much as you are being encouraged in this season in your life, in as much as you're gathering strength from from the inspiration you're getting from God and and the gathering of your together of your brothers and sisters, take some time to remain still and to listen to God in the His whispering, because sometimes the greatest messages that God want to send to you comes in whispers. And we can't hear that if we're in a crowd or if we're too busy doing, okay? So I encourage you to do as the Spirit of the Lord said to me today. I need you to spend some time with God and peace and quiet and listen because the Lord want to speak to you. God bless you and I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and I'm about to go to work and I'm excited. Thank God for a career. I thank God for life. I thank God for your life that is, that's viewing this video. May the Lord richly bless you and keep you. And remember that Jesus loves you. And so do I. Thank you for joining me.